Saffron Grange Vineyard was first planted in 2008, just outside of the market town of Saffron Walden. We have planted just under 22 acres of vines now we've got, um, that all go to making premium quality English sparkling wines. So as a vineyard, we produce anywhere between 20 and 30,000 bottles of sparkling wine a year. As the test bed, we are the location where Extend Robotics and Queen Mary University are bringing their robots and their technology and they're using our vines and our vineyard to help test to find out whether their robots are able to successfully pick grapes. We're very lucky to have a number of volunteers that come and help pick grapes for us, but the ability to be able to pick grapes as quickly as possible is really important for us. So um, a robot that is able to pick grapes, that's able to work 24 hours a day during uh, what is a relatively small period of time would be of massive benefit. So when we were approached about the, a technology robot that might be able to do this, we obviously jumped on it as a great opportunity for us. We're a couple of weeks earlier than we anticipated. Everything here is, we're learning from the engineering side, is very different when you're de dealing with the natural world. We have a working system, but because it's an evolution, we're adding pieces, we're changing the connectivity. But the impressive part is that we're connected through the 5G router rather than um, over a local network, which is a good step to being able to operate this in the field while the operator is somewhere located elsewhere. At this point, potentially in the cafe, but further on, potentially in a different country. We've just brought back this um, load of grapes. So this is Save Our Blanc. Um, it's a variety that we grow here in a relatively small volume, so we'll probably get about a tonne or 1.2 tonnes of that today, so that's what's on the back of the tractor. Um, and this has been picked by our volunteers over the course of the morning, uh, and we're going to weigh all of this so that we get our volumes, uh, we can look at our data, um, and then once that's done, we are going to at some point be loading it into the press uh, and pressing it so that we can make some wine out of it. Being able to hand pick the grapes, which is what our volunteers do, um, is a crucial part of the quality of the wines that we produce here at Saffron Grange. Um, so the, the robot effectively needs to replicate what our pickers do. I think the main challenge is probably going to be just a manual dexterity um, because obviously as a human picker uh, we're able to kind of get in there amongst the vine and really pick all the bunches because we get bunches which are sort of stuck in the wires and kind of behind or inside uh, the vine and that can be a bit a bit challenging um, so I, I anticipate that might be a challenge for the robots. Yeah. It's inspired by the finger of the humans uh, we developed this scraper uh, with a very narrow, you can see here, a very narrow shape, just mimic the, the, the fingers, right? You can see some sensors on the surface over here. The function of that is to, um, to, to, to detect the position of the stem. And also we can um, get the information from the sensors about the holding force. Any technological advance in this field, it's, um, it's very exciting for us. Um, it's a very dynamic, innovative field, um, and so it's always exciting to, to see what's going on and hopefully be a part of that. As a project, it's a really exciting one for us to be part of.